keep waiting for a long time. So yeah, okay, I just. Thank you. Thank you. So how are you doing? I heard you come up with new product. I'm doing good. I'm just finished uh, meeting with a new investor. That's why I wanted to meet you. I want to introduce you our new product so I can copy it. I want to explain it to another country. Mm -hmm. Do you think which country we should go? Start with? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I suggest we study first about how sick culture dimension before entering their market. That way, you can see which country that have suitable business culture with the nation. Oh, I understand. Mm, but what do you mean by entering their markets and what is half the culture dimensions? Um, okay, like this. Uh, what is half that is culture dimensions? Half culture dimension is a framework for cross cultural communication. There is five dimension, which is individualism, collectivism, power distance, masculinity, femininity, uncertain avoidance, long-term and short-term orientation. Power distance is a term that describes how people belonging to a specific culture view power relationship. High power distance is a deferential to figures of authority and generally accept an unequal distribution of power, while low power distance is a question of authority. Malaysia is one of those countries, scores very high in half study. Same apply to Japan. Japan was a high power distance culture. South Korea is one of the country that have low power distance. They always conscious of their hierarchy position. However, it is not as hierarchical as most of the other Asian cultures. Next, individualism collectivism refers to how people value their organizations. People with high individualism tend to care about self, actualization and low individualism values tend to value organizational benefits. Malaysia and South Korea are considered a collectivistic society. Effort in business are more common. While Australia is a highly individualist culture. In business world, employees are expected to be self-reliant and display initiative. Masculinity defines the gender roles in organization. In high masculinity organizations, very few women can get a higher level and better paying jobs, while low masculinity organizations, women can get more equitable organizational status. This dimension indicated that the society will be driven by competition, achievement and success. Same applied to Indonesia. However, South Korea's femininity society. Uncertain avoidance refers to people's tolerance of ambiguity. In high uncertainty organizations, there are more written rules in order to reduce uncertain avoidance. In low uncertain avoidance, there are fewer written rules and rituals. Malaysia workplace, administrative policies and procedures have been made more explicit. Fifth dimension of national culture is called long-term and short-term orientation. This dimension is related to choosing one's focus for future, present, and the past effort. Malaysia and Indonesia has a normative culture. Both of this country has that characteristic of having perseverance, always being careful rather than pursuing short-term profits. While China is a very pragmatic culture, shows an ability to adapt traditions, a strong propensity to save and invest, thriftiness and perseverance in achieving results. Oh, I get it. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I Have the strangest feeling